with a regular room though. Yeah, who cares? Maybe we should enjoy it while we can. So, you hear some background noise. It's my fan because it's damn hot uh, up here. Oh, it even has a balcony. And hey, check out this view. I just hate that we're the only ones who get to enjoy it. I was hoping that dad would be here. I wonder where he is and what he's doing. Well, is this a little posh? What's that? I don't think it came from inside. Who are you? Bruh, are you here? The space is well appointed. Yes, I like it. I'll take the room. Please wait a moment, Your Grace. I'm afraid that this room is not vacant. Perhaps you can stay at the mayor's estate, as originally planned. Philip, I can't even see the water from there. Can't even see the water from there. This hotel has a much better view. I can smell the sea air as well. I can't even go out to the, on the balcony. Where are you? Pe <laughs> where are you supposed to be here? Are you fees or are you here to kill me? Well, we could do that, to be honest. That's what I think to assume about someone. Besides, who are you, old man? You have no right to be in here. How dare you call me old man? How is he able to access here? Shouldn't we have the keys anyways? So are you the ones running the suit? I'm going to be using it as a private room during my stay in Rouen. I suggest no. You leave. Say what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see any reason we shall have to leave. I think I deserve to hear an explanation. I shouldn't have to deal with your ignorant... <laughs> A few ignorant commoners. Do you realize? Do you not realize who I am? An arrogant idiot. All I can see is an old man with a weird-looking head. Damn. Okay. There's no reason to be rude, though. At least say unique or something a little more positive. I get it. It's on how you say it. Fine. Clean out your ears and listen well. My name is Junan von Aze. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Spinosaurus. How's it going? I am definitely not late <laughs> for stream today. I am nephew to Queen Alice Alicia the second. Granted, granted the title of Duke by Her Majesty herself. I see your astonishment has robbed you of the ability to speak. Yeah, because I really do not care about you. <laughs> it's going well, that's good to hear. Well, what's to be expected? That, what's more reason to do? What, re what more reason do you need to give up the room? Bruh. <laughs> You're a hilarious old man, I'm dying here. You're supposed to be the queen's nephew. It still is not <laughs> nice to laugh like that. He was just telling a joke, you know. To ease the tension. Please pardon my interruption. Couldn't you... Can you intervene earlier? Please, his grace speaks the truth, unfortunately. Perhaps I should have been quicker to speak. Yeah. You've been sitting there doing nothing. I'm the Duke's personal butler, Philip. He has been under my care since the time of his birth. I assure you that all of this is true on my honor. The man before you is indeed a Duke Dunan, nephew of Her Majesty the Queen. Damn, that sucks. I can't believe it, but. Am I the weird rich looking guy? But the blood seems legit. I'm saying reminded of something Jean told us. He said that royalty would be arriving in Rouen to inspect the city. You said no. I will not. I am next in line to succeed the throne, unfortunately. And you should be honored to give me your room. No. Such a such an opportunity as afforded to commoners is quite- Yeah, I don't care. I am not gonna accept. You've got to be kidding. You may be royalty, but to me, you're just in a- Like, just acting like an organ old man. Miss, please, you must wait. Please hear me out for a moment. I want compensation. Pardon my imper 
pertinence, but I want to ask you a favor. Hello, how's your stream going? It's going all well. Just started it. Definitely not late. <laughs> With stream. How's it going, Ashley? Hope you're doing alright. Could I persuade you to request the room? No. The early butler produced a large sum of mirror from his breast pocket and presented it. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. You do that? His grace is a type of man who will not be swayed once he has begun speaking. I fear this trait may even be due to negligence on my part. So please. How much mirror is it though? That is the question. Bill Butler bo bowed his head before still on Joshua. I guess that's that. Well, where are we going to stay though? I want to cause the, tr the butler any trouble. We can have the room. You don't need to pay us. Bruh. It's fine, really. It really is a little too fancy for us. I bet looking after a guy is a hassle, but hang in there, okay? Madame. You have my deepest gratitude. Hey, what are you whispering? Nothing. Definitely not getting paid for letting you here be here. Please pardon our intrusion. We will give you the room over. Give you give the room over to you. Ah, uh, you will. If only you'd been so humble to begin with. You'd do well to retain that mindset in the future. Yeah, I know. I told you. <laughs> well, if you excuse me, excuse us. Yes, we got kicked out. <laughs> Here you explain the situation to the Duke. You probably still wouldn't have taken no one for an answer. Yeah, we figured that out. I'm really sorry that you had to deal with that. It's really no big deal. If there's anyone to blame, it's that selfish Duke guy. That said... Hello! You like the Ted so far? Yes, I am liking Ted so far. How's it going, Noma? Hope you're doing alright. Do you have any others, other rooms? Our good room will be just fine. I'm afraid we just booked out the last room for a short while. Can you sleep here on the sofa? <laughs> I think we just got play for suckers. We, no need to fret, we are at fault here. I will see to it that arrangements are made to, for you or elsewhere. Hey, what's the deal here? Who's that? Oh, Niall! <laughs> Is this guy? Hey guys, I haven't been and seen you since the Sky Venice hideout. Hey Lori, do you want What? Do you want outro No I do not Hey guys I haven't seen you since the Sky Banners hideout Niall I seriously do not want it Good evening, I wouldn't have expected to see you here. Look who's talking. You have no, but... I have my... I have my stuff. So I'm so I'm comfortable with what I have. I do not need intros or outros. No, I do not need anything. Hey, what's up? You got problems? Well, we got kicked out, that's what. You do get into the damnedest situations. It's not a laughing matter. Look at your knickers in a twist. You can stay in my room. My room has been has so much oh, nice. A clerk or cor or that whatever. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Not at all. In fact, you'd be helping us me immensely. Sounds like a plan then. Your room's on the basement floor, follow me. Are we okay with this? Well, you offered it, so it should be alright. You may want something in return for this to- oh no. <laughs> Probably something way out of proportions, I'll bet. Thank you for the posture check. I'll do that. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! Are you upstairs? No, upstairs is not. So you're down. You're in the basement. You here? Yes. 
I'm good at guessing stuff. Damn, you have a lot of beds. Get one of the, of the news beds and make yourselves at home. Where's your colleague, anyways? Okay, have a great day, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. You have a good day, too. My gracious host thing is a little much. Sorry if I'm acting suspicious. I'm just grateful that you guys helped me nail a great story earlier. I just wanted to pay you back, is all. I mean, a Sky Bandit's article, right? Did it get much of a reaction? Probably. <laughs> yeah, it was a big hit. Our readers loved an article, the Colonel Richard and in the Intelligent Division. I get the feeling that we sold more copies because of him that, than the Sky Bandit's incident, to be honest. He's really that popular? Mirror has it that he's about to get a big medal for Merton Dice. It's going to be just. It's going to be just about all people will talk about. I'm actually going to have an exclusive interview with him. And since that's impressive, well, he's got that looks and brains to his credit. He puts people at ease. That's all. What's wrong? That's yeah, nothing to worry about. The story netted me a tidy little bonus. It's here for. F Let's hear it for finally getting rid of my bad luck charm. The colonel's one heck of a guy. My bad luck charm, do you mean door- oh yeah. So, th so that's why she isn't here. Well, I was only looking after her while she was learning the ropes. Epic story meant the end of our mighty team, fortunately for you. So it worries me to think she's gone off on her own. I'm kind of trying not to think about that. I just want to enjoy a nice vacation with the bonus I got. Should you be chasing the big next big scoop? Or are you just checking out the Duke? Or are you checking out on that Duke guy who kicked us out? Oh Duke ah uh, Duke Dunan. Your own walking catastrophe. From everything I've heard, he's a real hedonist. Hedonist meaning. <laughs> I don't ask meaning, what is that? A person who believes that the pursuit of pleasure is the most important thing in life, a pleasure seeker. Cool. She was living in the life of a committed hedonist. We know what hedonist means now. The more you know, of course on the most royalty anyway. Remember has said that even the they even dries are magic up the wall. That's perfectly believable to me. They said he was next in line to see the throne, unfortunately. I want to have to call that fat jerk my king. Well, given her majesty's age, it's not unreasonable. Thus, there's the fact that her son died some time ago. A lot of people would be opposed to it, though. I'm guessing that you don't know much th more than we do. Which would mean you're chasing a different story, right? Huh, <laughs> bullseye. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was pretty obvious, to be honest. You can't see anything past you, kids. You're news reporters, it was pretty obvious. You're right, but that's all I'm saying. This one's just too big. I don't think you're overst overstating things a little. But hey, whatever. It's not like we'd go shouting from the rooftops. I look forward to reading it for myself. Oh yeah, just leave it to me. By the way, have you two had dinner yet? No. Actually, I think we did. Let me take you out and treat you both. Nice. Okay, maybe we didn't. At the casino and bar called Lantar, after a meal consisting of some of the best seafood from Azalea Bay, and drink in Niall's case, the two brought the now unconscious Niall to the hotel and set him in his bed to sleep it off. Recently, I've been playing a lot of Honkai Impact. Don't get confused with Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Impact. Oh, these kids. I suppose having this much sewing to do is proof that the children are full of energy. Let's all wait till morning for now. I'd best get some sleep myself. I've played yeah, Honkai Impact since 2018. I only have 250 days on it of logins 
Please watch over them tomorrow, Adios, and keep them safe. What's that noise? It sounds like someone put, put put wood on the fire. That smell is burning. Yeah, it's burning. <laughs> Wake up, everyone! There's a fire. I didn't do. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. <laughs> I'm half asleep. Then I'll probably wake up. And I don't wanna. What's going on, Matron Teresa? I'm kinda scared. There's a fire. Everyone up. We're going downstairs now. I want to say, shouldn't it, you go outside? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, to go outside, you need to go downstairs. Makes sense. It's all smoky. I'm scared. It's like, yeah, are you just leaving your sleep? I knew it. I knew it was gonna fall when I saw that move. I don't care about me, but protect the children. Dear Adios. I'm still, I think, in chapter 13. I was in chapter 11. When I started, when I came back to it. Like, two days ago. There are 38, I think, 38 chapters now on Honkai Impact. Damn. I remember when there were even 10 of those. Before Himeko, uh, something, uh, the news about Himeko even. A poor aching head. It must be one heck of a hangover. I was kind of impressed at the day you drank the whole, the way you drank the whole bar though. Sure you're okay? You want some water or the buck again? Oh god, <laughs> you threw up too. I'm gonna have to cover. Hey, thanks for taking us in yesterday. We're both very grateful. Let's pass on anything interesting you hear to me. I'll be in ruin for a while too. Okay, see you later. Oh god, I swear his light's so bright. I don't think whoever is on the bridge is really safe. Well then, let's say we head to the guild. Hi, mommy. We can see if Jean has any work for us. Eh, how you doing? Where did the birds go? They spread their wings and fly off to unknown lands. The new Timmy. She's the new Timmy. No, this way. Wait, no. I'm confused. So what you got? I cleared this one. Which, which was basically, I was ob basically obligated to do it because it was in the middle of the road to get into Ruan. So I lost my warehouse key somewhere and I really need it. Come see me to the harbor. That's my overall gun prototype. Oh, that is not a good way. It is not a good thing. And a ferocious monster. Report. Voice. I reported something else. Oh yeah, I remember. Much obliged. You appear to have achieved your goal without injury. Yeah, thank you. I have returned. Good morning. You're certainly here early. Yep, just like we promised. I know it's early, but do you have any assignments for us? Ah, uh, music for my ears. Let's see, there are so many options. Crazy on us. It looks like an alarm more than a phone. Hello, you reach Br the Bracer Guild. It's an incoming communication from the White Magnolia. How unusual. I'm impressed you were able to reach us with that old comm equipment. What did you say? Okay, you think I know what my assignment is. It's definitely a major issue. I said I'll send someone over shortly. AKA these two, what, what they have right here. It could be the case, or just an incident, an accident, I'm not sure. Last night, the orphanage on the coastal road caught fire and burned down. 
Yeah, I definitely didn't know about that. Any idea who might have done it? It was the proprietor of the Man Manoria Inn who called. Are you too familiar with the Mercia Orphanage? Yeah, someone stole my emblem. We were there just yes yesterday afternoon. And the kids and Matron, okay? Are the kids and Matron, okay? That I do not know. They are unconscious on the floor. <laughs> you have to conduct a full investigation and it has to be as thorough as possible. Will you be willing? Yeah, sure. Of course we would. It's over there now then. Good. Take care. So first of all, I'll do these. These from this one from long to one to medium. Harbor. Along the Orient Causeway. Do I have it? I'll just check. No, I do not have it. So let's go to the harbor first. Then we can do uh, everything else. Ah, this is Orient Castleway, okay. But first I should go and see about the key. Are you the key boy? No. Are you a key person? No. I'm gonna ask everyone. Every time I play Honkai, oh, okay. Honk. I'll say it later after this. Are you hard? That's me. Are you guys bracers? That is correct. You happened to lose a warehouse key? Yes, I did. I was working with the barrels around the crane the other day. I guess I must have dropped it somewhere around there. I was waiting around uh, to have a drink at, uh, at the Aqua Rossa. I probably dropped it in that area. That's really all I know. Somewhere near Aqua Rossa. So every time I play, oh it's here. Every time I play Genshin Honkai Impact, I do some really long, some really, really long pauses. It's if you're months or a whole year. Oh, there's something new. <laughs> there are three new chapters. I feel like there were... From last time, there were... I think six more chapters. When I came back, from when I came back. When I come back uh, two days ago. Yeah, why am I talking to you anyways? So I need to go to a crane. Oh yeah, there should usually be something on the ground. So yeah, and there was this sensei thing, like a few years ago, when and I always reject being a someone's pupil because I already know that I am going to be having a break in a few days. And never coming back for at least 10,000 months. So yeah. I don't really have a reason to accept any senseis. Oh yeah, I got a Hersher of Finality too. Just the first temple. The Hersher of Finality. 
A Hersher is basically God. A, a type of God. A God of Destruction. In the Honkai universe. In the Honkai Impact universe. Where did they find the key? Eh, yeah, who cares? Let's go find a gun. And damn, shit, she good. Never got any hurt her, damn, that sucks. I ain't trying to get her gun. Oh wow, it was a monster here. But it's going to its. It's the. Her sure finality weapons and ba banner is going away in uh, one or two days. So that may not be possible. I do need at least. 30. 30 pulls to guarantee it. And I do not have 30 pulls. I barely have a half pull. Half. Half a temple. We're good to go. The first Hersher that I got was the Hersher of R Reason, Bronya's. Death blow too, nice. Reduce the search empty chest. That's really sad. I got two Bronya's, actually. Two... Two Hersh... Bronya Hershers. One from the banner. Oh wow, you're a okay. Maybe use Hats or Bunny. I never use Hats or Bunny. I've, I don't know if I got Hats or Bunny after... Bronya. And uh... After... Her, her sure not. Plus, the thing about Honkai Impact and Star Rail is that Bronya hats her bunny. It's basically so as Silver Wolf in Star Rail. Silver Wolf is Hats or Bunny, yeah. They basically have the same design. I noticed it after coming back two days ago. <laughs> and I have more than 100 tickets so you can feel my first. I haven't played Honkai Star Rail in a bit. I should go play. I need to farm some Star Jades. She do be waifu though. Not gonna lie. Uh, where is it? No. Orion Castle, I think I dropped it when he was attacked by a monster along the way. Uh, it'll take a while. Bro. But sure, the then I got no. I was talking about Bronya. I got the second Bronya. Second, the second the uh, Hersher of Reason Bronya on a by losing a 50-50. So that was cool. 
At least I think there are 50 first days in that game. You're from the same company, so I would assume so. I have her weapon too, the cream. Her key of the wiring, I think it's called. Bro, imagine escaping. I have a lot of banner weapons. They're just way too good to get them. If you even if you don't want the character. Are still, most most of them just pretty damn good. Then I got the Hersher of Void. And right now, two days ago, we got Finale. Yeah, sure, okay, you get two turns. I am spending way too much. I may be a little bit careless. At first I thought that Bronya was OP, but damn, is the Hersher finality op really OP? Is so good. You're one health. That's a lot of stuff, and I'm escaping because I know that Joshua is going to die. Where's your gun? After all, tower. Okay, let's terminate this guy. Rock. I feel like they don't even move. Seriously, I feel like they cannot even move. Okay, they can. They have a lot of health too. This may take a while. No, I didn't meet you. I thought it was Estelle. I forgot. I forgot that Joshua has it. You definitely did not see me attacking and getting all of those reflected onto me. Unless you clip it, there is no proof. You did not see anything. You just saw me using Sisti Mira for nothing. Because I felt like it. It's already incredible that in Genshin, Genshin Impact no one died still. As Honkai fanged them already predicting someone to die. He 
Genshin. <laughs> the Genshin fans doing their prediction on who shall die. Curse with this. Get wrecked. There's so many. I oh, yes. I petrify the Bro, I can't even move. I can't even do anything. What is this mute? Yes, yeah, mute. You don't even do any damage. You just get me EP. Please don't get Joshua's. Actually, let me kill. Let me kill one of these. Where is it? Ah, oh, you're petrified, so who cares? You can just do it on your own. The EP charge. You literally. Oh god, you guys are annoying. Seriously. Like, I, I have my priorities, though. There you go. Damn, these guys are annoying. Let's do this. No. Who cares? I actually should have cared. Actually, let's move you. I cannot even move you. Cool. Please dodge one. At least one of them. Cool. I kill one of you. Seriously. There we go. What? Well, at least you escaped. Yes, good. God, these guys are annoying. There you go. You finally did it. Just to kill these guys now. If I can. Are you serious? Would basically be unable to kill these guys if I didn't have EP these EP charges. Actually, I want to try. Yeah, okay. Just to be sure if by like, having them petrified negated their effect. We didn't have to waste these. Actually, it'd be better if I go for something less expensive. There you go. 
That's a lot. There we go. We got our module. Air bomb. You have found disappointment. Yeah, oh, you're beautiful. Just what you needed. So if I go to Saffirol Tower, I suppose I'll probably find that guy again, the researcher. So, tomorrow and Tuesday are going to be my last days of school, but I have to study for exams. So my frequency may be... I will, my stream frequency will not be every day. And I guess we gotta attack too. Sure. So yeah, take that into consideration. For next week. I should honestly study. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's literally next week after this one. <laughs> I should really start studying. Good thing I'm... <laughs> I'm good at memorizing stuff. Unfortunately, I'm gonna remember using stuff that isn't my. <laughs> Wait. Ah, they're basically two and one. Cool. Man, I'm so bad at finding stuff. Every time I have to search for something, I'm not able to to find it. Like seriously, where do you hide it? Especially the damn rock. I hate that rock. I need to find a rock. Oh, hello. I had to find a rock for a kid. I was, I was not able to find a rock for a damn kid. A damn a rock. Do I get down? Where where do I get down? Ah, oh, there it is. I think I can find it here, somewhere. Wait! Ah, oh, fishing spot. Wait. I got it. <laughs> I found the key. Mr. Hargware, if Mr. Hargware were here, maybe we could check it out. What do you do? I can't exactly dive in to have a look. If you had something like to snag it, then maybe. We have a fishing rod. Okay, let's go get the fishing rod. To Aqua Rossa. You think I can borrow one of these? I have to ask the shopkeeper. The bartender was on the first floor. Okay, we shall do that. I have a fishing pole. Thank you. That was fast. Looks like someone dropped something. Check it out, it might be useful. Maybe you should pick up our... Something good. Yeah, you did! Ta-da! I get it, you're going to try fishing it out. Isn't that going to be difficult? 
Just sit back and watch the magnificent style at work. Do as you please. She's a pro for sure. Warehouse key, nice. Check me out, got it. Pretty impressive. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd be able to do it. I mean, that's not really the same as congratulating me. But check it out. This is a warehouse key that Mr. Hard was talking about. This looks like a key. <laughs> we'll tell you how it got dropped in here. Let's bring it back to him. It looks like a key. <laughs> Can't really be something else so specific. Hello, I got your key. Thank you. Okay, we finished everything. We finished with our side quest. I have returned. I have returned. Nice. Okay, let's continue. To do our main quest. I need to go. Oh, no, this is the school. It's a bit. We're back. I'm going the wrong direction, though. Bro. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're pretty far. How dare you? Wait, can I kill it? I saw that he touched something tiny, I could barely see it until I saw that he encountered something, but I didn't think it was a, a, a shining palm. Now this is where it is. Mercia Orphanage. This is terrible. It's just gone. Who do we have here? up where are you guys are you from here from the bracer guild yes well from Monoria, right well i came hell to help the pick up the pieces we we're here last night around midnight trying to fight the fire as you can see it could have gone better so then what about the matron from um, matron Ferissa and the kids they're all fine don't worry and now they're stuck in Monoria's inn Given the size of the fire, it's a miracle that no one was badly hurt. Thank goodness. Yes, at least that's something. We're, we're here now to clean up what we can. How about you two? Really odd to check up on everyone at the end. Sorry, but they'll have to wait. Now that we're here at the scene of the crime, there's a lot that strikes me as weird. We need to find the clues we can before the trail goes cold, so to speak. I know how you feel, but this has to a pre precedence right now. Right, we're bracers after all. You have to find out what happened. Right, so let's see what we can find. Let's say you all have your hands full. Good luck. Oh, what's up with this? The door has been completely wrecked. It's all pitch black. Huh? What's wrong? If it's just me, does the hinge there look weird to you? Like it's been torn off or something. It's normal to me. It does, actually. As if it happened before the fire started. If 
found something here. What was once a wall is now rubble. This place is ruined. You smell something strange? Yes, I think I know why. Gasoline. The strange smell is strongest where the wall has collapsed. So, like we saw on the... While we were, while these two were sleeping, they started a fire. Their herbs have been uprooted and strewn around about the garden. Yeah, okay. How about this? Okay, we already saw that. Let's guess these two. Okay, you have nothing to tell me. Oh, you do actually. Alright, I've taken a good look around. What do you think? I'm not sure to be honest. First of all, the fighter doesn't appear to have a start in a building. It looks like you start outside. Outside? Over here. That is where... Yeah, the point of origin. And where the wall collapsed. How can you tell? Because of the fire damage is worse here than anywhere else. Compare it to the areas in your body and we'll see. Oh, you're right. So, sorry here. I never thought. I don't know if it's true, but I never thought that I could actually collapse a stone building. Like all of that stone. A you know, stone building, yeah, but all of that part. When I, I wouldn't really think about it. It's right here and it's spread. You know what this means? Got caught in a bro. Someone said the fire on purpose that it wasn't in. Someone said the fire on purpose. My thoughts exactly. That smell is it. The smell everywhere? It's some of highly flammable oil. It's everywhere around here, so this had to be the fire's point of origin. Plus. You think it's weird how everything outside is scattered around? I mean, people finding a fire wouldn't have done that. Yeah! I was so confused. Honestly, I was pretty confused on why I was that disorganized. Because I technically shouldn't have touched that part. It's not a coincidence someone did this. Is that true? Hello. So we meet again. I know you were here. Hello, Chloe. But why? Why would someone, anyone do this? There's so many irreplaceable memories of this place. How could someone do anything so cruel? I'm sorry, I'm just so confused. I'm not alone in that feeling. I already know the place, and this bothers the heck out of me too. It's hard to believe that anyone could be capable of something this awful. Estelle. But the matron and the kids are all fine. We can be thankful for that, for that, right? Thank you, that does help. I just started... I just started morning classes when the dean came to see me. He said that we, he'd heard that the orphanage was in flames. And while I was on my way here, all I could think about was they're fine. They're alive. Adios was watching over them. Well, we heard that they're all in Monoria, safe and sound. We just finished up here, so we're planning to go see them. Do you want to come with us? Yes, I would like that very much. Alright then, to Monoria we go. To Monoria we go then. Damn, that sucks. Seriously. Especially for Chloe, well, no, actually not especially for Chloe, especially for the guy, for the people that were inside of it. But you know what I mean. I hope. Where you guys at? There you are. Master and everyone. Miss Chloe, you came. Yeah, she came. Is anyone hurt? You're okay. I is okay. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're here. Is that a still in Joshua I see with you? Yes, that is indeed correct. Yes, and someone contacted a guild. 
I'm investigating the incident and followed with stop by. I see. Thank you for taking the time. Investigating? You mean about the fire, right? Yeah. You know who did it? No. Oh, how do we put it? We just started the, <laughs> the investigation. So who's hungry? I missed breakfast, so I was thinking about getting some food. Good boys and girls who join me will have some sweet treats. How to get their attention. I want some pudding, but... Come on, Clem. Quit gripping and come on. Let's go downstairs, Mixed Chloe. Okay. That's one way to lure the children. I want to want the little kids to hear about this. Indeed, although I get the feeling Mary understands at least some of what's happening. Yes. Isn't that great? I'm happy to have her around. Now, you are saying... Please tell me what you can. Thank you for understanding. Okay then. We know that someone did it on purpose. First we checked out where the fire started. It does appear that it was set deliberately. My suspicions were correct then. I've always been very careful about fire. I suspect that it might be something like that. I have any idea who could have done this? Rick was responsible, must have some kind of motivation. More of this guy, man, it's probably not. I have no idea. I have no real money to speak of, nor has anyone ever borne a, a grudge against us. So it wasn't a robbery. It wasn't for revenge. I had to acknowledge the possibility for that someone did, did it just for fun. Those little kids. <laughs> Do you happen to notice anything unusual? Leading up to or during the, the incident? Any strange people hanging around the orphanage or for instance? Yes, actually. Not during the tank time when you were there, but afterward. I can't imagine he would do something like this. And who's that? While we were trying to escape from the fort burning fire, the beams fell in and blocked our way through the entry hall. But then he showed up and helped us all get free. We got in our lives. Was he Monorian? After he helped us, he called the villagers over and left in the confusion. I've asked about the other villagers about him, but no one seemed to know anything. Sounds sus. What business would anyone have around at an orphanage at such a late hour? You notice anything in particular about him? He was a man, about maybe in his late twenties. He also had brilliant silver hair. Yeah, I don't know. He had trouble look. He had a trouble look about him, though. It made him seem far older than he looked. But it didn't strike me as a bad man. That's suspicious. But did he help you out? But he did help you out. You sound like you are. Doesn't sound like your guy to me. Joshua, what's with the goofy stare? Nothing. Perhaps it was just a breeze who happened to pass by. I think that we should disregard him as a suspect. Okay. Hello, Chloe. Where are the children? Eating downstairs, probably. I mean, some dessert, yeah. Metro for Essa, you have a guest. Pardon my intrusion. It's probably the guy. No. Mayor Delmore. The bracers I met yesterday are here as well. Jean's reputation for responding quickly is well earned. Now then. It's good to see you again, Matron Faressa. After I heard what happened, I came over as quickly as I could. I'm glad you're safe. Thank you, Mayor. It's very kind to you of you to come by. I know you're very busy. You're a very busy man. Nonsense. It's my responsibility to look after all areas of the region. Or to the point, those who did this must not be allowed to get away with it. Joseph has always loved that place. Such an atrocity. Allow me to express my most heart heartfelt condolences. Thank you. I'm sure that he would desperately believe that the children are alive and well. My sole regret is that all my mementos of him were lost to the fire. Much in 
Tell me, racers, have you have you any thoughts on who might have done this? No, we just begin. Yeah, just begun our investigation, so it's too early to say, sir. It does look like it might have been some, and simply out of malice. However, I see. How horrible for something so heinous to happen in such a peaceful place. Pardon me, Mayor. What is it? Do you think that those people might have a hand in this? What do you mean? You encountered them yesterday. The ruffians down in the warehouse just- Oh yeah, that could be possible too. Like, it makes sense if you think about it. Or, from our POV. I my bluntness, but what makes you suspect them? They've only- they've been all playing to find a mirror for quite some time now. I say they seem to get their kicks out of causing trouble for him. And since he and the matron first are friends, uh... Gilbert. Sir? All speculation does no- any- no- does no one any good. This dire offense, we must have no false accusations. No apologies, sir. That's foolish of me. It can make sense, actually, to be honest. But yeah, there is no proof. I think it'll be best to let the bracers identify and locate the ones responsible. Can't count on your help? No. Sure, leave it to us. We will devote our full attention to it, sir. Good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, Matron Fresa, I do have one question to ask. And what is that? Do you plan to do... What do you plan to do with your orphanage now? Your belly will take time and not considerable and not not considerable amount of merit to complete. Honestly, I'm a little lost. A modest reserve of Mira. But the cost will be phenomenal. I was afraid of that. Well I have a proposal of sorts of you. And what may that be? At the Dalmar estate in Grand in Grandso, I have a villa. It's only used for a special occasion, so let's say you have let's say you two having the children stay there for a little while. And of course, charging rent will be particularly boorish of me. You'd be welcome to stay there for as long as the rebuilding process takes. There's no need for you to shoulder the burden like that. But if it is it's unused, if you have misgivings, then I will grant you control of the grounds. Think of it as a well-deserved reward, if you will. Oh, what reward? Mayor. You have some time to think over it. I find it most generous, but I can barely process it with everything that's going on. Perfectly reasonable. Understandable. You should get some rest. I must be off as well. If you decide to accept, please feel free to contact me. I will. Thank you very much. Let's go, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Oh, that was a shock. He's certainly the generous type on par with me or Maybell. Indeed, particularly in, in light of his being a former noble. What do you do? In, what do you intend to do in regards to the mayor's offer, Matron? Well, do you think of the situation? Conventional wisdom dictates that you should accept it. Everyone, once you've gone to Grand Soul, oh, never mind. You always were such a thoughtful child. That's all right. I want you to give me your honest opinion. The Arab Garner and the people I care about would, I care about would be gone. So, if you and Joseph gone, I feel like all my, all my good memories will fade away. I'm sorry. I'm just being stupid and selfish. I share your feelings. If it is home to my memories of him, as well as the children's memories. But the uh, memories are precious. Having a place to live is of the utmost importance. Yes, ma'am. I believe this all be will all be settled soon. Please try to focus on attending on campus festival for now. The children are really looking forward to it. Yes, ma'am. Estelle and Joshua. I wish I could be of more help, but you must leave the investigation in your hands. We will handle it, ma'am. We're going to take the culprit down, you can count on it. This sure has turned to a royal mess. Where should we start the search? 
Yeah, Curly technically cannot visit them anymore. If you think about it. Because it's going to be really far from the... From the school. We can figure out how the plan attack, attack then. Sounds good to me. Are you wrong? You look like something's about bugging you. I'm sorry. My mother is just all over the place right now. I know how you feel. But the way Joseph was met... Was Matron Fress's husband, right? By the way, Joseph was Matron Fress's husband, right? Yes, he died several years ago. My mother does He meant a great deal to me as well. What does it mean? You're from the orphanage too? No, nothing like that. He just did a huge favor for me a long time ago. He grew close again when he came to Rouen to attend the academy. I see. So in other words, every time you came by the to play you ended up helping out like part of the family yes it was like my f a father to me but shogun experience was nothing compared to the matron and the other children let me manage them out miss chloe who's mary ah oh, the kid i was going to get into such a hurry oh yeah i knew it i knew it was going to be about clem that means left monoria you give us more details after the old man showed up, Clem went upstairs. In a couple of minutes, he came back down all red in the face saying, You're not getting away with this. Eh, uh, yeah. Seems like a Clem thing to do. Seems like a thing you would do. You don't suppose it's... The fourth person is arsonist? I thought you were right. Eric points at the ravens. I've only overheard that the steward... What the steward said. I were not... He's not playing- yeah, he is. He is going to see him for himself. I can't allow this, I have to find him at once. I'll come with you. You're free, we might be able to catch him before he gets to Ruan. Miss Chloe. Don't you worry, I'll bring him back safely, hopefully. You just look after the other children, right? Yeah, good luck with that. Let's head back to Ruan. So, I am going to say bye-bye. This would have been a longer stream, but I almost did stream an hour later than usual. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Oh yes, thank you for watching. I shall read. It's been a while since I read Jatson. Let's read Jatson. And goodbye. Here's my Discord if you do want to join. And yes, goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Goodbye. I was I gotta go watch some Oshinoko as I haven't seen the last episode. Neuesten Trailer, dann nehmen wir auch gleich natürlich dann den neuesten. Natürlich dann den neuesten. Yo Lord, thanks for the raid. How are you doing? How was the stream?